Hello everybody and welcome back to uh, Crash Bandicoot Warped. How about we start going through some of these levels? To which I forgot that there's an underwater level in the first section for some reason. Or the first set. Don't know how I forgot that. Also, now we're finally back to one of these levels with the bazooka. You kill the chicken. I love that you can kill the chicken. Alright. So, uh, relics. I guess... Uh, pretty much the gist of the relics is... You just run forward. And occasionally there are crates that will... Uh, stop the clock for a set amount of time. I forgot this is not Crash Team Racing. So not every crate becomes a time-stopping crate. And not getting all of them doesn't give you a bonus, I'm pretty sure. But in CTR it does. Hi, that was very close to my face. Also, there are no checkpoints, if you haven't noticed. So it's a one and done situation. Once you make it or you don't. And like I said in an earlier oops, I got stuck in the wall. Like I said in an earlier episode, you do have to get every relic for 100 percent Specifically that one, a gold relic, of which, uh, oh, fine, I'll just put my name then, to which, specifically, gold relics are, uh, t meaning you have to go faster than a sapphire to a, to a point. There are such things as a platinum relic. No. Uh, they do not show up. I think if you beat the game with all the gems and stuff, it will show you the platinum relic time. Like, it'll show you the developer times, and those are the platinums. Like, if you beat those times, that gives you platinum. And, uh, yeah. That's it. Platinums don't actually count for 100% though, it's just, uh, just gold. Gold and sapphire, but specifically gold, because the sapphire don't exist, basically, if you have gold. Because it just overrides the sapphire. So anyways, I'm going to go then. Turn around fast, please. Hope you like mashing X. Because now, now you gotta mash X in these underwater levels to go as fast as you can. Well, thankfully, you can quickly turn around. I forgot about that. If you uh, just spin, oh yeah, I get used to uh, speed boosting and just sharks and uh, losing all your speed and probably not getting a gold medal because gold relic because you uh, screwed up really badly with the thing. Make it? I'm pretty sure that's still just faster anyways. Whoa, I'm going straight down. I didn't know that was a possibility here in this game. Alright, sweet. Boost. Boost. I spent more than two seconds to get that, but whatever. Ah, crud. Crud. Oh, also about the time trials, and this is really nice for the motorcycle ones. You can restart the trial. Why are you unable to restart normal levels? Like the racing ones? I don't know. I wish you could. Honestly. It'd be really nice. Nope, you can't. And I hate it. It's dumb. I've made a grave error. And lose my Aku Aku. That was important to me. I was, okay, I got caught on that. I don't know, spinning faster than mashing X. Maybe I should. I, I think I'm gonna not do it though. For the sake of uh, conserving my ability to spin for when I need it. Sometimes 
Sure as heck not gonna show every attempt like this unless I stream it. Cuz Yeah, no thanks. That that's a bit too much. Ah, it's 117. Nay. Oh, to Orient Express. Oh hey, yeah, this is the perfect time to actually read out the level names. I didn't even think about that. So we have to go back to all the levels. Sweet. Well, onwards. The only fortunate part about the Pura levels is the fact that you have to always walk up to Pura as Coco, who walks so nonchalantly and slow. Wow. Well. As long as you hold square the whole time, you should probably get a good time. Box here and there. So I do want to hit the top of the archway like an idiot. That's also a good note to take. I went in the archway. Okay, now I'm good. It's fine. And out of here. Right, I forgot the big hop actually still counts part of the time. Oh, 25, 5, 16. Is that good enough? Good enough? I'll take it. I assume the bell time probably had all the crates. Whatever. As long as I get the cold, I don't care. And I can guarantee you there's one level specifically where we will get the Platinum Relic. Guaranteed. Easy peasy. I won't tell you what level that is, though. Oh yeah, the Boneyard. Do we have the Teller Gem for that now? Come on, cycle through the power. And now to the gems. What was it? The red one, I think? Yeah. It's the red one that we needed. So we could get that gem now. I'll get the Relic first. And then we'll get the gem. Unfortunately, I don't think we can run out where the Triceratops much. I think they ran. Maybe not. Probably. What's up? I can see a pterodactyl. Pretty cool, but I mean, you're not as cool as a Triceratops. That's still my favorite dinosaur, after all. Oops, okay. I was gonna break both. I don't know why I thought I was gonna break both, but it. This, thank you. I can just run through. It's easy. Don't want to worry about the grass or anything. So prep gem path. I'm glad I went to the rally first. I didn't even think about the fact that show us what gem path we needed or which gem we needed. I was right, anyways, but still. Fun. Maybe I shouldn't have done that because the damage is kind of away. Oh, there. Alright, we're good. I don't think I will die to the turret there tops in this portion. They're just gonna break that for me. So yeah, that's, I think we're pretty good here. I don't know if this is gold or not though. 
Oh yeah, also, for record, uh, time trials automatically get rid of your Aku Aku, whatever Aku Aku you may have. Like tier 1 or tier 2. The moment you pick up the clock. It's also unfortunate, but it makes it so you can't just get easier times and whatnot. Like that, though. We've cold route like most of these. I just want to check a thing. Okay. Making waves. I forgot to get that gem. My bad. Oh, yeah, I forgot I got rid of the Wumble Fruit. I should not have down on that jump. Hello, thank you. Appreciate the, the time rates. Always welcome. More of Mary Not, so I just went over them? Or did I just go too far to the side? No, I hope that doesn't mess me up on my time too much. It's, uh, this shouldn't be too bad of a level of replay, I just still don't want to replay it at all. First trying is a lot nicer. Especially since it kind of pulls off the fact that I uh, played this game in a lot as a kid. Look, I may have played this game a lot as a kid, but it doesn't mean I can practice my speed game as a kid. I did. Never will. I don't think I will. Maybe in a hostage situation I will, depending on the circumstances. Most likely I don't think I will. Alright, and I pretty much now. Darn it. I wonder if it was a minute that we had to be for gold. So missing those two crates really just, just cost me, huh? That's so dumb. If I did just go... It definitely was just to the left. There's no way I went over the crates, right? Like, that just wouldn't be possible. And what was the time for gold? Yeah, that was... It saved me about three seconds. Alright, well, I guess... Now we just, uh, check out this. I don't know how I landed on it like that, but I did. But, um, yeah, look, we have level 26 to 30. With Sky Craze has the one we now have unlocked. And then we have 10, 15, 20, and 25 relics. I could have sworn the gold relics counted as two. Which is why I wanted to check it earlier. But I guess it doesn't count as two, like I thought. Either way, we're heading back into uh oh, what are these called? Toad Village. And under pressure, right? Wanna head back into the boneyard to get to get that gem. I'll meet you at the, the path though. Huh. So the three Akuakus were a time trial thing. Interesting. Also, I didn't think about this until I already went silent and whatnot. But I actually have no idea if you can get the gem off of this path if you are in a time trial. Like, I don't know if it won't let you on the platform, or if it will let you on the platform, or like what. I don't know how that works. Or if the gem will just won't be there since the normal food and stuff aren't there. By the way, I know we got the jet streams here. Whoops. That's unfortunate. That's even more unfortunate. I think we have to jump on it just there. The worst part is, you know, we're not getting Aku Aku because there's no crates here. So we're trying to just do this without getting hit now. Alright, 
I should go back to Animal on Stick. That might be actually a little bit easier for me. Ah, that's a thing. Unfortunate. Maybe I should not do the run. Maybe the, the running is actually hurting me. Maybe it might have. I think it's messing up the, the cycle thing. It is, if there are cycles that you can turn off, oh no, it doesn't. Maybe I should just run it. Just speed it up. Ah, perfect. Check it Nice. I'm not 55 lives? That happened? Jeez, I didn't grab that one. Not that one. Alright then. Four lives now. Who knows, maybe there's still a chance for me to get over in yet. I got height somehow and almost died because of it. I had it happen again. I jumped into it. A lot of I statements happening and they're not good. It's a not nice I statement. I don't like them. I don't stop. to see the triceratops, I was gonna taunt them. Mock them even. Wow oh, well. Actually we I'll be honest, I forgot that the the level we unlocked for getting these five relics actually is uh like oops not hot cocoa. I thought it was. But it makes sense that it's not. I didn't want to be here. Just let me leave. Anyways, that'll do it for this episode of, uh, Crash Bandicoot. Or, next time I guess we get the relics starting with this, or next time we get the relics in this area starting with G-Wiz. See you all then.